What's up everybody and welcome back to Tootle Kitchen. Today we're gonna be making a super delicious creamy salmon and spinach pasta. I really think you guys will love this one. It was very easy to make and it really took no time so let's just jump right into it. All right so we're gonna start out by seasoning our salmon with some salt and black pepper. I'm also gonna use some Cajun seasoning as well as some garlic powder and onion powder. Now I've decided to go with just a simple spice blend. I also just like to throw some fresh herbs in there. So I'm using some fresh thyme. You could maybe throw some dill in there if you like. Um, I should have did this first, but I'm going to throw some oil on here as well. I just kind of rub everything in and just to get everything nice and incorporated. Um, I want to do this for both sides of the salmon. So yeah, do that. Now we're gonna get ready to sear our salmon. I just like to go ahead and get some vegetable oil nice and hot in a pan. You can use olive oil. Um, I'm putting it skin side down, which will would be skin side down. And just go ahead and just do the same thing to the other side. I don't really like to cook it all the way through here. Like I'm just basically just getting a sear and then I'm gonna remove it. Um, as you can see, it's still kind of, you know, not done in the middle. Um, that's cause it's gonna get done literally by the end of this, it's okay. In that same pan, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some diced onions in. I use about a half a cup of red onions. If you don't have a red onion, use white or yellow. I'm gonna throw a tablespoon and a half of butter in the pan and just let my onions caramelize before I add my minced garlic. I'm using about a tablespoon or so of minced garlic here. Next, we're gonna throw two to three handfuls of spinach in there. You guys know how spinach is. You'll throw a whole bunch of spinach in and it'll cook down to nothing. So use as much or as little spinach as you like. After your spinach cooks down, add a half a cup of white wine and let that simmer for about two to three minutes. Then add your salmon back in the pan and break it up gently with a spoon or a spatula. We're just gonna kind of mix everything up. After that starts to simmer a bit, you know, as you can notice the wine reduced. Now we're gonna just zest some lemon in there, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Now we're gonna add one cup of heavy cream. If you don't have any heavy cream, use half and half or whole milk and let that simmer. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of parm cheese. Adding that grated cheese in there is gonna to start to thicken that milk up really quickly. So turn down the heat and just let it simmer before you add your pasta. I'm using rigatoni. You can use any sort of pasta you'd like. After you mix in your pasta, mix in some mozzarella cheese and sprinkle some on top for that bomb ass finish. Then throw your pan in a 425 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until you get this. See how golden brown this is? This came out hella good. Now this is the best part. Get you a spoon, grab a scoop, and plate it up. Thank you so, so much for watching this recipe, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys might give this a shot too. If you do, let me know what you think. Until next time, y'all. Peace.